this just in, a breaking news story. Apparently, you guys give a shit about what we think. That's right. Apparently, we're cool. We'll accept that. Welcome to the Adult Fans of Nerf Show. I'm Mr. K. I'm Mr. S. And today we're taking a viewer request and we're going to be talking about possible forays by Nerf into the Elite Line. Yes, we, we've we been singing the praises of the Elite Line ever since the Rampage and the Retaliator came out and there's a lot of stuff coming down the pipeline and there's a lot of ways that they could tweak things and bring some old superstars back into play. Yep, and definitely the opposite of that is true. Some things might just stay dead. Which is, you know, as much as we would like to see everything from the Endstrike Line come out in Elite status, let's just face it, it's not going to happen. But they could give us the best of the best and leaving some of the oldies but goodies to, I don't know, hide in the shade. Yeah. So what have we got here? We got a okay. lot of new news. So the ones out right now, there, there's only three of them. Yeah. Four. Four. Um, Which one's the fourth one? Wait. Yeah, four. Rampage, Retaliator. Rampage, Retaliator, Hailfire, Hailfire. Stockade. Oh, the Stockade. That, yes. I forget about that one because it's not a U.S. release yet. That one's coming relatively Sometime soon. Sometime soon. Who yeah. knows? Who really knows? But for I mean, those of you in the U.K. and wherever else it's available, it's awesome. Yep. Um, so, yeah. Um, Retaliator is obviously the successor to the Recon. The Rampage to the Raider. Raider. Uh, Stockade, Barricade, Barricade, and the Hailfire is basically the first unique one. The first of, unique one of the series. Yep. Um, Excuse me. So other blasters in the series that have been confirmed but not released yet. Uh, well, they haven't been. They're, they're not officially officially, confirmed, but they've appeared in official pictures. So we're in in other stuff. Some things are just coming out of the woodwork. Um, as you know, we're getting closer to being released, so we're gonna we're gonna talk about them. Right, exactly. So first, we got the Triad, which is the elite version of the Jolt. Uh, we've seen a few things about this, not a whole lot, but from what we've seen, uh, we know for sure it holds three darts and it fires three darts. We're not sure as of yet a hundred percent if it fires them all simultaneously. It appears that it does. But I'm not sure if it fires all three at the same time, at all three at all. I'm thinking it, I'm from the video that we saw. I think it was just firing one at a time because he was moving them around. Well, he wasn't. It, it didn't look like he was moving them. The camera work was so bad you really couldn't tell. But I thought that if that when he pulled the trigger the first time, it fired all three, and then he had a pile of darts on the side that he was putting them in again. And uh, one thing that I did notice that was when he was firing the darts. Uh, one chamber at a time, um, it didn't seem to have as much power as when he fired initially with all three of the barrels plugged. Okay, but yeah, um, uh, the Triad's the successor to the Jolt. Yep. Um, next one we got is, now, we don't know if this is the absolute name of the new one that we've seen, but from uh, what we understand, current information is that it's called the Incinerator. Yep. Uh, this is presumed to be the um, successor to the Night Finder. Yes. yes. Um, not again. Not much is known about it. Less less is known about the Incinerator than is about the Triad. Right. Yeah. We we've only really seen it in a couple of pictures on packaging and you know, the, the only one or two blurbs on the internet. Yeah. The only the only real picture that we have of it is from the side of the Elite boxes yeah. in you know the in. On the tactical vest is... In the, in, the, in the side holster. In the side holster is supposedly the incinerator. Right. So we don't know how much dart storage it has, um, if it has the light, how the light functions. None of that is known as of yet. All we, all we know is that it's a better version of the, the Night, Night Finder. Finder. And that, then Night Finder is great by itself. It is, yep. So still, still cool stuff. Um, the next one that we know is coming out and that has a successor that we know about uh, is the Strong. Uh, we've seen this a few times. It actually showed up on eBay for sale 
Strangely enough. Strangely enough, yeah. And um, I, I'm still not a hundred percent on this. I from because I had never seen any information on the strong arm. I thought it was a fake. I really did. From looking at the packaging and everything, I just thought it was a fake. But I apparently have been proven wrong. Yeah, because I sincerely doubt that somebody would pay a thousand dollars for a for fake. a fake. And if they did, wow. I mean, really. Yeah. That that's like a that is. A hundred times the normal asking price. Right. No, is it? Well, it's ten bucks, uh, right around ten bucks retail for a Maverick. So there's going to be a little bit of a price jump for the Elite version. Yeah, yeah. But um, so yeah, and the next two um, they've talked about. We found out about them in the uh, white the article on Wired. In Wired dot com. Yeah. Uh, first we have the, well, well, we'll talk about the rough cut first, because that is interesting to me. It seems that it might be a successor to the barrel break, but the only thing that we really know about it is it's the first Elite Blaster to fire two darts simultaneously. Yep. And just, just from that, it sounds like it's a, you know, because that's the only one that we know of in the end strike line that fires two darts simultaneously. Yep, pretty much. That's that's it. The only you know, you have to go pretty far back in the past to find another one that shoots right. two darts at the same time. Yep. Uh, I think the manta ray is one of the few that shoots more than that at the same time. More than two at a time. Yeah, there aren't there weren't many that ever did, um, but it'll be cool to see an elite one. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I want to see what they can do with it, and I I I like the barrel break. I just think it's has a you know one bad glitch <laughs> and, or well two I think two bad glitches because I, I don't like the handle you've always had a problem with the handle it is it's just a little bit awkward it is a little bit awkward but it doesn't detract me that much from from wanting it or using it yeah, yeah. The, the, the only problem that I have with it is if you forget that it's loaded and you try and break it um, you could fuck up your darts pretty bad yeah or mess up I know we're an adult show and it doesn't matter, but you know there are younger people that watch the show, so I'm not going to try and use as many of those words. Hell damn fart. Hell damn fart. There you go. <laughs> so the next one that we got to talk about, um, I didn't find out about it until earlier today. Uh, it was also mentioned in the Wired article. It was mentioned in the Wired article. See, I, I skimmed through it. I didn't read it that in-depthly, but I did read it. Um, the Strife. And the Strife has no successor, it's another unique one, and I found out about it through kind of an advertisement when I found out that they're making an Elite Raven. And they're redesigning kind of the, the Firefly clips, they changed the color of them, they're going to be green now, kind of the same green as the Vortex line, and the Strife was part of that. Uh, it appears to be a battery-operated blaster, it is clip-fed. Um, it takes the fire, it's advertised with the Firefly clip, so we're not sure if it's going to have anything I'm, different. Personally, I'm thinking it's going to come with a 12 round clip or two. Okay. Just uh, of, of regular clips? I, I think it'll, I think it will. I don't think they're going to go for much of a gimmick with the Strife. Well, and, and even so, I, the, it doesn't matter with the, with the new Firefly stuff because the Firefly tech is all built into the clips. So there's nothing really special yeah. that they have to put into the blast. No, no, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying I don't think it comes with a default. Yeah, I, think only, default. I think only the Raven will, and I think it'll come by itself. The battery, the, the uh, Firefly clip will be I, I available so. by itself. I'd, I'd like to see that. I'd like to see that because I do enjoy the new, the new Firefly tech. Yeah. And with the, with the new, the Elite Raven, it's not, the name's not going to change, it's just the Elite Raven. Um, and they got a nice blue paint, sque paint scheme on it. We're yep. hoping that they uh, ramped up the motors, maybe fixed the... the we gave uh, it the same treatment plunger. they did to the stockade. We don't know what they did to the stockade to make it better, to make it Elite, and I'd love to get my hands on one to try one out. Um, we can only assume with the battery-operated ones that they're going to do the same thing um, to each of them to make them better. Yeah. Yeah, give them all the same motors or whatever. Yeah, because yeah, it did seem, like you were mentioning earlier before we started, that the uh, Hailfire does have more punch to it than, than most of the other bear, uh, flywheel blasters we've seen thus far. Yeah, and I think, I think part of it is the, the way the flywheels changed, the way the motors changed, and uh, the plunger. That super plunger, yeah. 
So that's pretty much all that we know of the intended release blasters, and, or, and we, we don't even know when these are coming out. This is just all that we know about them thus far. Um, so now we can move on to our predictions, things or directions that they could go with the Elite line, ways we'd like to see. Possible ways, things they might come out with, the, the things we believe most likely for them to come out with. Right, right. We're fans of the bigger ammo types, the arrows, the missiles, and stuff, and we would love, absolutely love, to see a, an Elite Titan. Something new, not even, maybe not even a Titan, but something that fires a missile or rocket type ammo. Yes, something large and unique, something that's not an arrow. Right, something bigger than an arrow. I, I really wish that the Titan was more readily available and people could use it more in battles because it is just such a powerhouse. It's awesome. Yeah, and um, I think I think it, it's a positive or negative, but the fact that it's made for the Unity power system kind of detracts from it a little bit. A bit, and, and that's because the Hornet was a piece of flotsam, a rabid piece of flotsam, but you got the Scout. So if they could do something uh, unique with it, take, you know, like totally get rid of the idea of, of the Hornet and make a new Unity power system even, or just a standalone rocket launcher would be amazing. Standalone rocket launcher would be nice. Even if they don't go with the same ammo, they can make the the missiles more elite, you know? Yeah, make them a little bit more streamlined, lower uh, make this fin smaller, but make it fly farther. That would be that that, that would be awesome. Or an, an overhaul of something that we haven't seen since the Titan. Yep. Um, I would like to. I'm not. I'm not sure if they're going to do it, but I would like to see an elite scout. I would love to see an elite scout. The scout is our favorite pistol. It's it's a you know dead eye. It's probably the most accurate of the smaller pistols that we that we've seen. I think so. To give it the elite status would be great. Yeah. Uh, just you know, ramp up the power. I mean, if they're going to be able to do it with the. Uh, replacement for the Maverick, I think they would be able to do it for Scout. For the Scout, yeah. Agreed, agreed. Uh, I would like to see a Deploy. I'm a huge fan of the Deploy. Uh, I love trans Transformers, so you know we've gone over that numerous times before. Um, I think you could do some great things with the, with an Elite de Deploy. They could change how it transforms. Yeah. Um, or they could just you know leave it the same. Even if they leave it the way it is, it would still be cool to see it um, back in the mix. Yeah, yeah. Um, the deploy kind of does get lost in everything because, you know, I mean, basically it's just a blaster. You know, it's a, it's a right. It's a basic. If if you take away the fact that it transforms, it's just a blaster. Right, and and it's a it's an average blaster. It's it, it's it's not above and beyond anything. It's it's average. It's just, a, you know, a, a recon with a gimmick is is all it really is. Um, but it's. It, it has that uniqueness that I think they, if they rethought it, they could make it more utility. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit like more like the briefcase blaster, but not too much like it. The briefcase blaster is a, is a really unique thing. Uh, I like it a lot. My only gripe with it is it takes too long to transform. Yeah, yeah. That's why I like the, the deploy, although its transformed mode is a little cumbersome. Uh, it is a neat compact little thing and it transformed with a push of the button and it's ready yeah. to go. It's, it's a novel concept and a concept I'd like to see them reiterate. Um, and the way it goes above and beyond any other transforming blaster is really it's 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 solid. It is when solid. it transforms it's solid. You actually yep. have to do something in order to transform it back. Yep. Yep. And it's it I would love to see it. Um, what else have we got on there? Long strike. The long strike, yeah. They haven't come up with a rifle, really. They have they have high ammo capacity. They have uh, speed. They have everything else. It would be nice to see a long range rifle. Yep, yep. Because I mean, I definitely don't think they're gonna do a long shot. They will never do the long straw, uh, the long shot again. Um, as as fun as it is, it, and it, and it was the first long range blaster that we really had. Uh, well, the first of the end strike line. Mm -hmm. um, there were just too many shortcomings to it, and so many ways the long strike was better. That's why I think they're definitely, if they do one, they're going to do a long strike over the long shot. Yeah. Um, 
I, I think there is a possibility somewhere, though, in resurrecting something like the long shot without the front gun. Uh, make it more like a carbine, uh, or basically maybe a, a, a stepped-up version. Yeah, I, or, of 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 the front gun. No, I'm mean, what I'm, I'm saying. Yeah, but I'm thinking even if they don't, they can make it a short, just, just a short make rifle, it a straight up car, uh, straight straight up carbine, single yeah. shot. Keep it bold action, you think, or or make it pump action. Mm. Why not have both? See, that's why I was thinking. Together. I don't. I don't know about. That would be something interesting to have a a blaster that has multiple ways of priming. That would be novel. I don't think that's something for the elite line. I think that's something for maybe a standalone. I I think that if you had both bolt action and um, pump action, pump action, or well, no, yeah, that is pump action. It is pump action. Yes. I I think that it would. Uh, I don't know. I, th I think it would work. It that way, work. That way, if you if you wanted to, you wouldn't even have to put the uh, bolt in. You could just leave the bolt off if you don't. I would like to see them redesign the bolts. Uh, honestly, I I know it's 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 great for for ambidextrosity. I know what is the correct word there to have uh, you know a butt on each end. But maybe if they had something that was a little lower profile. Because uh, it's it's hard to carry, you know, if you try to sling a bolt action blaster, uh, it it hurts a little bit when you get stabbed in the back by that thing. Yeah, yeah. They could always just make it so that it's it's a, the uh, priming handles only on one side. That just put a solid me. bar through and have like a cap on one end, so you could decide if you wanted it on right or right hand or left hand. And maybe have it a little easier to switch. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I would enjoy that better. I, I really would. Um, you know, being, being a lefty, uh, it's good to have that, that ambidextrousness. Yeah. And see, I think if they didn't make one with a pump action at least, it would be like a, a big daddy to the Alpha Trooper. We were talking about that before. I love the Alpha Trooper, but we discussed it. And I don't think they're going to as much as I would like. I don't think they're going to do an Alpha Trooper. No, I don't. I don't. I don't think so either. I. I like it. it just it. It just seemed like the Alpha Trooper was an answer to a question nobody asked. It was, all all things considered, as much as I like the Alpha Trooper, it was a little superfluous. It didn't bring anything new to the table. It didn't expand upon anything. The only thing that it really did was it gave us the eighteen round barrel clip. Yeah, it was and. For the most part, it was the bastard child of the recon and the raider. The raider. Yeah, but I still like it. I th I, th I think it's a very well functioning blaster. Um, it suffered a little bit. The the pump handle has a spot for a bandolier clip, which to me seems really stupid. Um, but that was the only real downside to it. It looks yeah. really sharp when you put one of the pinpoint sights on it with the with the with the buttstock. It it's a really sharp looking blaster. You know, I if. Uh, Toys R Us, Target, and Walmart decide to do a, um, their own blaster each for each store. I think the Alpha Trooper will come back out. So like in like an Elite exclusive. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. That's a possibility. And, and if they do that, I would like to see it. And I, I hope they redesign the cocking mechanism. But that's the that's, only thing that I would ask them gun. to do. Yeah, that's the only thing I, I would ask them to do. Um, that was, it may, it make the range a little bit better. I mean. Well, it's going to get the Elite. That's where you know if it if it gets the elite treatment, it's going to have a higher range. Yeah. So the uh, only other one that we really haven't talked about that we're pretty darn sure they're not going to redo is the Vulcan. Yeah. Uh, it's I th I think the Vulcan's just dated. I think um, as as awesome as it is, it's a little too cumbersome for for you know realistic use in a nerf battle. Yeah. Uh, as I, as a sentry gun, it's good. Yeah. Put it in a little bunker. It's awesome there. I think if I think it's 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 a remote possibility. I think if there's somebody at Nerf that really loves the Vulcan, it's like their baby. It's like their favorite blaster. I think they'll redo it. But if there's nobody there that really loves the Vulcan enough to redesign it, I don't think it'll happen. I don't. I, the the oh, okay. The possibility is there, but I still think overall they would do the Stampede before they would redo the Vulcan. Oh yeah. Yeah, forgot about that. Um, 
I don't I don't know if they are going to do it in the league stampede. The only the only thing that I would really really like them to do with the stampede to make it to to bring it to that elite status is to increase its rate of fire. Rate of fire, and I think I think they could increase its distance. Oh, definitely, definitely. Uh, and maybe get it to run on a lower battery. battery. <laughs> that's that's a big problem and one of my biggest gripes about the Stampede is it's really back heavy with that big battery pack in it. I love the Stampede. It's one of my favorite blasters, bar none. Um, it's just a little cumbersome to carry around, but you know, being so back heavy. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I and I think that with um, the Stampede it just came out with the wrong accessories. I like the accessories that come out with come came with it. But I think there were the wrong accessories for the blaster. The the blast shield was a novel idea, and you're right. I do like it better on the Vulcan. If it would fit. It does fit. I I do it. It doesn't fit correctly. I've gotten it to work enough for me. Uh. Gotten it to work enough for me. The bipod, um, the bipod would be better if the blast. one or the other. Well, no, no. The problem with the bipod was it wouldn't work with the Stampede if it had its advertised 18-round straight clip in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Which did kind of suck. It didn't stand well. It didn't stand well at all. So if they could... That's why That's why the elite or the 18-round clips have those little rubber feet. <laughs> Is that seriously why? Yeah. Novel. <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, <coughs> I don't know. Maybe if they maybe if they managed to somehow make the stampede a little less bulky, if they did reduce the battery, the amount of batteries that you had to put in, I think they could make the back smaller, and I think that would make it better. I really think they could, and they could do it to the Vulcan too, which I think might be another reason for them to do yeah, it. Yeah, and they could, in theory, give it a better ammo capacity if they redesign the chain a little bit. They would. They would have smaller. to. Re they would have to redesign the chain to. Um, to make it easier to put the elite darts in it, because it's yeah. built for the whistlers right now, and uh, it, it doesn't make as good of a seal toward the top. Um, you know, all more more reasons for them. Who knows? Maybe we will eventually see everything from the end strike line come out in elite. Yeah, at least uh, in one time or another, or for one company or another. Yeah, um, they could also uh, do better on the tripod. It just it just kind of sits weird. It's like click it's click. Did I break it? Yeah, and it doesn't it doesn't stay in position very well. Uh, it <coughs> doesn't it there's a lot of bad things about the tripod. I think it could be now with the technology that they've proven they can do, I think they could do a lot better. Yeah. Yeah. Um, another one I don't think they're gonna do the Spectre. Yeah, we were I was thinking about that earlier. There's really no need for them to do the Spectre. Nope, they got the strong arm coming out. I mean, yeah, the strong arm isn't going to be... Uh, you can't use it with any of the other accessories. No, but the strong arm has a, has a higher ammo capacity than the Spectre. Um, doesn't the strong arm have the ability to use buttstocks? The barricade does. So the only thing we would be missing out on is barrel extensions. I know it can't take barrel extensions. I'm fairly positive that it can't. I did like stuff. this. I did like the barrel extension that came with the Spectre. Yeah, it was it was it was cool looking. It was a little big to me. It was a little big. It it kind of resembles a uh, um, suppressor, and it as you know compared to a real suppressor, it is a bit bigger. But for what it is, I think it's good enough. Yeah, yeah. Um, didn't like the. I like the idea of the stock. Uh, the butt stock. I think it, it was poorly just, executed. Yeah, I just think it was too flimsy. It suffers from the same thing as the stock recon, uh, which I never liked. The only cool thing about it was it could hold a clip in it, and the only reason I did that is because it gave it more stability. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the the flip around stock on the Spectre suffers from the same thing. It's it's three small rods that make up the whole thing, and it only secures, it's only along one side of it. There's nothing on the other side to, to counterbalance it, so if you push too much on it, it feels like it's going to snap in half. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, those are basically most of the modern blasters in the Nerf lineup. 
The only um, other one I think is up in the air is it. I would I, I would only think they would do this if they did decide to make an elite titan, and that is make a blast that shoots the arrows. Yeah, uh, a big bad bow. I uh, something. I don't quite like the big bad bow because it just seems the the bow part seems superfluous once you get that far. Right. And right. so I think that they could do better to make it look like a bow or make it more like the crossbow. I would like to see another crossbow. Uh, the chances of it happening are slim to nil, but... I think that it's more possible now than it was before they released the Elite line. You think the, the Elite line has lighted that much of a fire underneath them that they may bring, may bring arrows back? Um, I'm thinking that if they bring arrows back, they're going to make a crossbow or make the successor to the original. They're the, the big crossbow. I think they do a honestly, I think they I think they will do a successor to the big bad bow before they would do the crossbow. I I don't think so. I think I think because there's more demand for the big crop the big for, crossbow. For the crossbow. Over the big bad bow, I think that's why they would do the crossbow first. If they're gonna bring back the arrow ale. If 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 they were being true to the fans Yes, they would definitely do that. Um, but there's a there's a part of me that still thinks that they would do the big bad bull first, and kind of you know stick it to us once more before they give us what we want. Well, I mean they've already kind of given people what they want in better ranges. Well, no, the, and that's yes, why I'm, yes. I mean the the big bad bull doesn't really give that great a range. An elite one would. Yeah, that that's probably true, but I think I think that an elite version of the big crossbow would even more so give an elite opportunity for the arrow. I think they would have to redesign the arrow a little bit too. I think they would too. To we make the, make it like the tip denser or something, so that that it gives it a little bit of weight and stability, so that it actually goes through the air. Right, instead of just hanging there, because the, the arrows never had any kind of a hard, dark tip like the Titan did. No. I mean, they don't need anything quite as hard as, as that, but they definitely should have something to make them a little bit more heavy-duty. Yeah. Agreed, agreed. I think an ammo overhaul for, for everything would, would be great. But, I don't know, the, the, the debate goes on. Big Bad Bow versus versus crossbow. Yeah, and who really knows what they're going to come out with. Um, we, we can speculate all we want, but we're n most of these we're not sure of. We don't know if they'll ever do it. I mean, especially with this kind of shelf space that they have now. Yeah, they're already running low with all the new products coming out. Now they got four different lines really to, to support, not talking about the Kush stuff or the and laser tag or I haven't seen the Stampede else. in stores in months. It has been a while since we've seen that. Um, I'm trying to think of other things that are going that I haven't seen. I haven't seen much of the much of the Vortex line in uh, not Target. I, yeah, I haven't seen much much of it in Target. There are a few blasters, but not nearly as much as... It, Toys R Us definitely has a whole Vortex line. They, they have, have shelf space to spare, but not a, you know, Walmart and Target and Kmart and stuff. They don't really have that no, much real and estate. They've, they've reduced Nerf's real estate compared to what it used to be. Yeah. And which is really sad because it's a big toy. It is, and the only one that really seems to really understand that is Toys R Us. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, it is an entire store of toys. So they exactly, can, they can afford. They can. Yeah. yeah, and it seems like for some reason Target and Walmart's shelf space for toys is growing less and less. It is, yeah. I I don't know why. Um, I've, I I saw this in the '80s too. There were a lot of other department stores that used to have really big toy sections that would gradually go down and down. I never understood, you know, from a from a business standpoint, why a department store would shrink its toy section, if anything. Yeah. But I'm not a professional in that area. I just like toys. Yep. Yep. So again, this was kind of just our wish list. This was a this was a fan request. Uh, if you liked this, if you like, you know, us doing fan fan request shows, send us some more ideas. Come on, guys, we like to hear what Absolutely. you have to say. Absolutely, we love to rant too. So if you want to send us a request for a ranty episode, we'd be doubly appreciative. 
Definitely. 